Hey everyone, my name is Tony and welcome back to the channel. In this quick video, we're going to show you how to create reports, calculate the weight and price of Structure Steel using Quantifier Pro. Let's dive in. So this is my structure. It's a combination of steel post beams and bracing and also a couple of SketchUp objects. Now we're going to use Quantifier Pro to give us the total weight and price of this structure. Now Quantifier Pro is a very straightforward and simple extension. If I open the Quantifier dialog, you'll notice how it can calculate the length, area, volume, and weight, and eventually also the price. And you can assign cost values to the tags, material, object, and your overall model. Now, as an example, I can start to select some of these objects and you can see how it calculates all of those values for me. And this is very important for anyone involved in architectural projects, construction management, in interior design and cost estimation. So we're going to get started by setting up the units. Let's open our settings. So here we can set the units as well as the precision. For the width and height, I'm actually going to leave it at inches. But for the length, I will change to feet and inches. The area I'm going to change to square feet. For the volume, we can change to cubic feet or cubic meters, whichever you're most comfortable with. And for the weight, I'm going to change to kilograms. And you can also adjust the precision accordingly. And as you can see, all of these values now reflect the new unit setup. And if I select one of my posts, you can see the information reflect on our dialog. So it's nine foot high, 3.75 square feet in area, as well as its volume. So you'll notice that there is no weight value being calculated. So that's going to be the next step. So all of these structural elements were created with a deck of steel and each one is assigned to its own tag. This is a very important step because it's one of the ways you can determine the cost value of your model. So to calculate the weight of the steel elements, we need to add the density value of steel into Quantifier Pro. And if we turn on color by tags, you can see by the color that each one of are on its own separate tag, but everything is categorized as steel. So I'm going to select one of my posts and I'm going to click on tags. From our options, we can select columns and our unit, we're going to pick kilograms per cubic meters. And here we get to add the density value for steel. And if we check online, the density of steel falls within this range. So we're going to use 7850 kilograms per cubic meter. So now when we reselect our post, you can see that the weight is being calculated. And because we set this on the column tag, we can select all of our posts and it will calculate the values for all four posts. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the beams as well as the bracing are categorized as steel. So technically they will have the same density value. So I'm going to add the same value for the bracing and the beam tags. So now that we got the weight for each structural member, we can easily get the weight of the entire structure. If I select all my steel elements, you can see that it calculates all those values for me. This information is very important when you're making structural decisions. And it's even better that you can get all of these values with Quantifier Pro. For example, if I wanted, I could single out just the beams by turning out all my other components and select all my beams. I can get the total length, total area, volume, as well as the weight. Similarly with just the columns and even the bracing. If I select all my bracing, I get all this information readily available for me. If having this information is part of your SketchUp workflow, then you really only need to set this once because you can set this file as a template. And as long as you use these tags 
And as long as they are associated with a weight value to calculate this information, then you will have this information ready when you start your project. So this is another great benefit of having Quantifier Pro. It's also important to note that Quantifier Pro can create a report for my model. If you expand this option, you can select from component report, cost and detail, cost summary, profile and material report. With nothing selected, I can create a report for my entire model. All I have to do is click here. And just going over the report and looking at my structure, you can see the different types of beams, bracing and columns. As far as the column goes, you can see that we have four columns of the same type. These, this is a deck of steel element. So we can see all of this information right on the name. You can see the height, the total length, as well as the total area. So having something like this is pretty handy. If I selected one of these and created my report again, it will give me the information for my, it would only give me the information for my selection. So keep that in mind as you're creating your report. You can also control the number of fields that you will see on your report. If you head over to the settings, you can see that we have 14 fields selected and here you can check and uncheck what you want to see. After modifying the fields for my report, I now have six. Click OK. And when I generate my report, you can see that we get a more simplified version. You can see the component, the profile, the count and also the cost. Now the cost is still zero for all of these structural elements. So now we're in a good spot to calculate the cost. So calculating the price is actually just as simple if we go over to the tag. So let's say we want to add a cost value to our column. And what we need to do is add a cost item. So to add a cost item, you wanna click on this plus icon. And we got a new set of information that we could change. We can change the description to the column material input. We would change this to kilograms and the unit would also be kilograms. For this value, we need to find out the unit cost of structural steel per kilogram. And we'll use as Canada for an example. So this falls somewhere between $2 to $3 and 40 cents. So to keep it simple, I'm going to keep it to $3. Waste is a percentage of the price that takes care of losses when you cut, bend, and handle the steel. So we can assume 5%. And for the taxes, we can assume 12%. So I'm using these values for example, so please reference, but you can cross reference this with real values, depending on where you live. And with that, we can hit OK. So now when I select my column, you can see that it has a price of around $211. If I select all four, it gives me a cost of 846. So the same way we added the price item for the columns, we do the same for the beams as well as the bracing. And we can then calculate the cost for this entire structure. So we'll go back to the tag. And because everything is still, we're going to copy this entire data. So we can copy this to clipboard. We'll go to the beams, for example, and we'll paste it here. Same values, nothing much to change. I'm gonna hit okay. We'll do the same for the bracing. So now that we've updated each of those tags, we can now select and see the price for each item. And if we wanted to get the price for the entire steel structure, all you have to do is select. And because all the data is already incorporated, we can see that this could cost around $2,800. We actually also have the weight of the entire structure, which is around 796 kilograms. And that's gonna be all for this video. Hopefully you can see how easy it is to weigh and price steel with Quantifier Pro. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.